Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alamo Dome here in the beautiful city of San Antonio. Here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world. It's showtime! From my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with black and white trade of 34 wins and three losses. He has 31 big wins coming by way of knockout. Marcos Maidana! Defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with gold, a trim record of 27 wins, no losses, one no contest. He has 22 wins. The reigning WBC lightweight world champion and the undefeated Adrian the problem Bruner. All right good here all right touch him up good luck play Olympia well, meanwhile Marcos Maidana coming off a fight of the year candidate and a win over Jose Cito Lopez the, the bell and round one And he swarms Broner along the ropes. He grazes him with the right hand. Mike Donna off to a very quick start. Since known here against Broner. Gavin Reese bounced it off his head. With a hook on the right, it hurt Broner. He took a weird fall, misstep after he, that shot landed. And Mike Donna. Slow starts in terms of output, followed by powerful finishes. First round. My dad is starting without the jab, by the way. Oh, he was throwing no jabs. Mike Donna throwing all kinds of punches at Broner's body in the crowd here. And he doesn't all go defense to offense. You rarely see for a guy who's going to need the counter punch. My Donna's brutal offense here. He can't just have him missing. You need by Broner. To win this fight, Adrian Broner's going to have to hurt Marcos. Broner has never been down in his career. A couple of left hooks to the body by Mike Donna. A couple of right. Maidana continues to walk Broner down. Broner catching a lot of those people. To be active if he chooses to use it and if he stays confident in doing that. He's tough in the sweet sides as we go to round number two. Great start by Marcos Maidana. Maidana throwing the hook and then coming with the overhand right. Makes Maidana continues the assault as Broner's on the ropes. Will looks that a very short fighter Gavin Reese landed against Broner in a previous fight, but Reese not as powerful as my And it was a very difficult beginning for Broner. And then Broner again later in the round. And Maidana will use an uppercut here, among other punches, working to the body, and yet another one. So this is not the kind of beginning Adrian Broner wanted to this fight, that's for sure. And Maidana that sticks another right hand. But it has a long count, that's for sure. And Maidana all over Broner again here in round two. Maidana lands underneath, but that was a. Forget so about surviving. He, if Broner gets to see what kind of character he oh, has. Oh, and the left see. and right by Maidana on the ropes. I don't know if Lawrence Cole called oh, that or not. Right 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 by now. Maidana. Another right hand by. He's hurt bad. He's. I know it's Adrian Broner, and he's supposed to be a star. And now two. Right uppercut by Maidana. The right cross connects. Broner looks to him, beginning to regain his composure along the ropes. Lands a right hand, staying calm in the midst of this. Broner kind of punching a little bit. Can he keep under a minute left in a stellar second round? Al, you're absolutely right. I don't know what happened to Maidana's jab. By Maidana. It was when he was setting up all the power. Yeah, he's the old Maidana, but he's still landing power punches. The it's referee. A call. He's complaining about something, but he's going to have to keep focus here. Left hook by Maidana. Seconds of what has been a scintillating second stands on oh. right cross. Connects by Maidana. Broner eats. Man. This is where a knockdown would occur, and it was ruled a knockdown, as it should have been. Maidana landing a big left hook, and yes, that sent Broner referee Lawrence Cole. But here's the left hook getting in, 
And you know something about that at first, and now we know why yeah. Maidana was throwing so many jabs to the body yeah. early. Very good point, Paul. Jab to the body once again. He kind of got Broner comfortable with him seeing the left. The, it's almost like he was better off being close range than he was on the outside. Yeah. On the inside, he can... But you're going to have to stay in the eye of the, of the fire. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Broner's father... Well, big percentage big thought was gonna have to make it a street fight in order to be a, be effective. Maidana's landed. Another chopping right hand by Maidana over. Right hand. Repeatedly in his career, and we thought that would be the big weapon for Maidana. And then... Measuring up, good defense, and there's some Ooh. of the speed displayed by Adrian Broner. Maidana champion. Suddenly surprised him. Good shots by Broner. Best. And Maidana is just not throwing the jab. Still get that right hand in. That's the rough stuff. Broner and challenger Marcos Maidana. Left hook connects by Broner. Had a better third round, certainly. This is, he'll land a counter left hook and a, he throws kind of a faint, wild right hand, lunges and gets hit. Now, actually, I'd left throw that jab. If it's going to be slow, don't throw it because that's when he counter punches. Keep breathing. Maidana's KO percentage of just over 90%. Maidana has shot his load and he's tired already. We'll see. That would not be uh, in keeping with his previous track record. Our feature attraction, putting the bow. On a superb that right now, going back to the jab, and keeping Maidana under control. Right hand to the body, Bob, another chopping right hand. And oh, there's oh. a left hand that catches Broner. Way and he changes it. It must have been something they worked on in camp. There he changed a hook to the body. A minute left in the fourth round. Marcos has to, it was a slow pace, favors Broner. And here he is picking it up now. Here's these rounds. 45 seconds left in the fourth, and there's a chop around. Left hook. And that could have impact as this fight wears on. Final seconds of the fourth round. Oh. So here at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Brought him back from a third that maybe Broner won. There's the left hook that got in. And he set up the left hook with the jab to the body. Able to counter a bit in that round. By Broner. And now look, Broner pulling. Yeah, but well, let's see if it was just an illusion. Here's the benefit. Broner can't time the, him defensively. Yeah. And he's getting hit with point. Yeah, that's really true. And the right hands are so wide. He's into the body shots. Putting the work in as he gets hit with a left hook from Broner. Broner, fake. Left hook by Broner. Left hook to the body by. Let's see if this works. It's a risk. But if he can back up Maidana. They're about pushing. Right hand to the body by Maidana. Broner's he's trying to Broner's having a conversation with referee Cole throughout the fight. Three punch. Adrian Broner is a very accurate puncher. He doesn't throw a lot, but he... Final minute of the fifth round. Broner catches Maidana with a champion, Adrian Broner. Now Maidana, the shoulders and the arms, and sneaks in a body shot. There's a left hook by Maidana. Oh. This is a very entertaining fight. And Broner Broner holding his gun up. A lot of those punches blocked by Broner. But Sen, he may be in jeopardy of losing the point. As we go to the sixth. With some precise punching, Adrian Broner ripping the hook and punching on the inside, although Maidan is getting a few punches in as well. But Broner a little better. And then toward the end of that round, again, the short cut. Tucks land by Broner. One of the central questions in this fight is does Broner have, see if he can do it tonight. Broner's second fight at 147 pounds, Mike. And it's bloody Adrian's nose. A minute. Mike got it coming forward low. Lands a left hand upstairs. They're trying to pot shot Maidana with the jab. Maidana closing the gap. There's a right hand to the body, digging away. Uses it. Maidana going over the top with a right hand. Working. Fairly accurate 
with his. Good counter right hand by Maidana. And again, you're putting Maidana in a position he's not... Maidana on the ropes, now moving away as he comes in on the attack, lands a right hand over the top, and... It's been fizzed. Maidana again works the body. And a left hook upstairs by Maidana. Other stages of round six. Maidana did get back to using the jab, the exchange jabs there, but Maidana using... And this is where Maidana would come with the left hook. A nice hook. It didn't land perfectly, but... Second down, let's go, coaches! Maidana's punch go. is not hurting Broner as much as he did in the first. Stellar amateur career with over 300 fights, oh. and there he eats a... So, I think he's trying to take that control back. Right up. Steve, you and I both have it for Maidana. And Steve, what do you think? I do. Although Maidana always looks like he's one punch away from hurting his opponent. Once, so I hope Lawrence Cole doesn't have to uh, decide this. A rough and tumble affair at times, and yes, Broder seems to be. A and the, the the problem for Broner is Maidana's thrown over 500 punches already. Well, he just landed three punches there. The double left hook followed by the right cross by Broder. And by but as he's showing these signs of fatigue, Broner's got to get busy. He's got to he's got to take advantage of that. Sure. Triple left hand, culminating with that left uppercut by Brogan, or in close. Working away on the body, oh. Broder tagging the left, beginning to find a rhythm with his combination. Maidana, though, continues to come forward. Maidana's balance, not... But he connects with the right hand, and Broder now beginning to tee off a little bit of Maidana, but Maidana... Yes, a little bit more. I want you to back, you back him up a little bit more, okay? Okay, he's backing you up. Just... How are you feeling, Chino? This is the eighth round. This is it. You know, be a lot, there's a lot of comparisons with Broner with uh, with Floyd Mayweather here is a uh, big fights. It was the first Jose Luis Castillo fight. This has a lot of com there's a lot of comparisons uh, that Floyd had with Jose Luis Castillo that Broner's having with Maidana here. Castillo beat Mayweather in that first fight, but, but it was, certainly was a learning fight. And you can dream, listen to the corner, and uh, you know he's trying to back Marcos back up. Marcos is not used to being on the back foot. I'll repeat it. Yep. Attacking the body with the jab. Straight right hand by Broner, Maidana with a three-punch combination that him. Oh. Oh, the hook got him. The hook got him. Broner for the second time in the... Come in. Oh. oh! Adrian Broner with the headbutt. Ah, he's milking it, guys. All right, come on. Again, that left hook left Maidana. Maidana can't get his head away. And yeah, that's absolutely intentional. Look at how his arms are locked. Finished. The guy's trying to finish a guy he just knocked yep. down. You got to get his arms free. I mean, he, looks, yeah, exactly. Those are wrestling tactics. Yes. yes. I mean, he begins. It has been another thriller here in Sima. And now in the Lone Star State. And now it's Broner going backwards again. Maidana with the momentum to put. You get clipped. I don't think I don't, maybe Broner's not so apt to, not so willing to take those Maidana chances. Maidana on the take a point away soon for that. Oh, left hook behind him. him. The crowd is going crazy in San Antonio. <laughs> Working the body again is Maidana going over top of the right hand. From Broner at all, at all. A minute and a half left in the night. Look at some in the world to throw some punches. He can do something. Easier said than done, though. According to our show stats, under a minute left of the round. Thirty seconds left. Broder comes back with a left of his own. Has Maidana along the ropes, but it's Maidana's jab that keeps jab. Something good happens for him. Yep, because Broner is so used to seeing all those wide shots that the straight, it's hard to anticipate straight shots coming from Maidana. Chopping right hand again by Maidana. We're headed to only in the round, 
and he was in serious trouble. And Maidana continued to blast away as Maidana was uh, pursuing Broner and a little arm weary. It was right against Paulie Malaj. He's sitting next to me. Broner disobeyed. Of course, that's just not an official oh. view. Broner now is not going backward too much, but he's not landing either. And again, he's not throwing. He's got to get this Broner as we look at the unofficial scoring after nine rounds. It's good combination by Maidana. The, the knockdown, the later knockdown was negated by the point deduction. He went, Broner went down to round two. Then. You, you're going to deduct points. He's got to go both ways. Nice combination by Maidana. Now with a tenth. Broner. And lands a right and a left behind the guard. Shoot, punch shot, Maidana. There's a lead left hook that connects by Broder. Maidana, the busier fighter, the more accurate fighter, to the championship rounds. But you got, you got, you got, you Stafford, you know, you got, Stafford okay. telling him Broder needs a knockout. Okay, okay, okay. This from Maidana after his frustration about the holding, but he committed the foul. And Mike Stafford telling Broder he needs the knockout. Neither fighter has recorded a couple of left hooks to the body. Just at the beginning of this round, but Broner in an aggressive body. But still, his offense stifled by the crowding Maidana. A reminder. Right uppercut by Maidana. Sorry, I'm sorry. A, a reminder of the judges. Stanley's work of the fight. Couple of right hands connect. Overhand right by Mike. The guy wants to back off. Maidana tired. He's still trying to throw punches. Broner very impressive in the fact that he's been knocked down. Need on the scorecards to go get it. And he Big just right hit a right cross. It's your final 60 seconds of the 11th round. Broner with the right uppercut left hook. Maidana can Because not only is he not throwing, he's getting hit. In recent memory, in the sport of boxing, Maidana. Hangs in the balance. Well, the body language speaks volumes in the Broner corner. Love look after the belt. The 12th and final round. Adrian Broner's W leg and owl. It's for good luck. So far, it seems to be serving. See a fault for the point. He didn't get it, but at least it's showing he's, he's got his man's back. Yeah. That was a big issue in this fight right now. He went to the neutral to corner to let the doctor yep. check him. Left hook by Broder. Couple of punches to the... Hurting me becomes dangerous. Yep. It's asking me Khan and Victor Ortiz. Tito Lopez. Yeah, good point. Broner, see him surviving this round. Lead left hook by Maidana. Left hook. They're trading hooks, and right now Broner's is getting there a little quicker. Left hook. He's having a very good 12th round, and for Maidana, it's really a matter of getting through this. You would think Maidana might have a lead in this fight. But There's Broner's a straight right forward. And the body shots by Maidana. Left hook by Broner. Less than a minute here of boxing. Broner's title hanging in the balance. of the fight. They go moving forward. We are headed to the judges' scorecards, putting a point on the year 2013. And we're off to the judges' scorecards. Following a tremendous year in boxing in the last 25 years. I agree. Our I mean, yes, it is, and this, but we'll see what the judges say. There's a sign of sportsmanship between the two. This round, the early part of the round controlled by Broner. But then, and here is where uh, Broner got buckled a bit. Well, that's my daughter taking some shots, but here Broner. Yep.
Maidana. The number of punches thrown by Maidana. He did land according to show stats to a championship. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to find out. 16 to 109, and Levi Martinez scores about 100. And the new yeah! yeah! champion of the world. The king is dead. Exiting the ring, being knocked down for the second, first two times of his career. Experience tonight, tasting defeat well, for the first time, and Maidana does it. Maidana, as Broner makes his way back to the dressing room, losing one to gold at 140 pounds. Looking up to the Argentine, Barry Tompkins is standing by with the jubilant victor. You can hear the crowd and how much they appreciate it. Felix said he has never seen anybody like me. Obviously, he was absolutely right.